Stop paying for additional email addresses. Today, we're gonna to share with you our Google Workspace trick where we create multiple email addresses without paying a single dime more, and we create them where they all go into one inbox. So stay tuned and make sure you stick around all the way to the end where we're gonna give you the three email addresses that we always create every time we set up a business. So let's get right to it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to go to our admin console on Google Workspace by typing in admin google.com it will ask you to log in and you will automatically be taken into your google council admin area if you're using the mail version of this you're going to hit the three little dots on the top right hand side you're going to scroll down until you see the little admin box click on admin and it will also take you there once you're in here you're going to go into where it says create an alternate email address email alias and you're going to type in the person that you're going to create the alias for if you type in the first name or the one you originally created, it should pull up yours. So I'm gonna go ahead and select mine. I'm gonna hit proceed. And in here, I'm gonna type in my first alternate email. My alternate email is gonna be support. And as you can see, it already has rapid active media. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Once I hit save, this is all set. I'm all good to go. Now the second step is I'm gonna go back to my Gmail account I'm gonna to go to my top right hand side to go into settings. Inside of settings, I'm gonna hit see all settings. Inside of settings, I'm gonna to go to the top bar and I'm gonna hit accounts. Inside accounts, I'm gonna add another email address and I'm gonna type in the email address, sorry, support at rapidactivemedia.com. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I spelled it right. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and hit next step. And now what's great is it, I can uh, respond from either support or Nuno. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into let's say my inbox and I'm gonna hit compose. And now if I wanted to send from support or whatever email I created, all I have to do is hit the drop down, hit that particular thing and go ahead and send out the email. Now at the end, like we mentioned, we were gonna share the three different email addresses that we usually create every time we set up a new account for a customer. I'm gonna go back to user, and then when I'm in this box, which should have been the first one it came back to, I'm gonna go ahead and add alternate emails. As you can see, I can see the ones that I've already added, which is support and Nuno. What I'm gonna add next is gonna be info, which is the second one we use, and I'm gonna add the third one already, which is gonna be sales. So those are usually when we're setting up a company and it, even if you're starting out are the three different email addresses that remember are all going to go back into the one inbox as you're going through. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, I created all my different aliases in here that I can use and now email from. Just don't forget the additional step that every time you add an alias that you go into your settings and you add the different aliases right back in here. So for instance, just to recap, uh, we're gonna do info okay and hit next step and that's it we're all set hope you enjoyed this video and if you missed how to set up google workspace make sure you check out the video that shows you how to do that we'll show that in the next screen if you need any other resources make sure you always click down at the bottom because sometimes you have additional resources in there that can help you along your journey of getting your business fully online